So uh, let's just let's show some Nightwolf, right? All, All right, right so let's, let's just start off with the, the default. Um, as common in this game, he actually uses weapons a lot. He uses his hatchet, and he has a new weapon called a gunstock club, gunstock. which he uses in a bunch of his attacks, and it's it's actually a, a real Native American weapon that they use. Mm -hmm. They would pick up uh, guns and use them as clubs, and then they actually started making their own versions of them. Right. You can Google it. It's, cool, it's pretty cool. gnarly. Yeah, it was, uh, it was something that Edwards was really pushing for to give it new life and a new weapon. And he can also use a spiritual axe as well as his real one. You can see there, he uses both, and then you can see the spirit one actually go away, and he puts the other one back. It's it's pretty neat. I would oh. assume the spiritual one's more powerful. I would assume sure. so. <laughs> um, so let's go over just three or four moves I really wanted to show. The first is his forward two, where he uses the new club. And that's a really long range overhead that he can either end it. it's speed too. Yeah, I would say it's slightly on the slow side, but for an overhead, yeah. it's, you know, it's not gonna be lightning quick. Right. And he can actually hit confirm that into a special move, or he can just knock you down. Classic shoulder charge. Then to complement that is his forward one, and that is super quick. I yeah. think it's four. Yeah, I think that's the move I was like using a lot in my a video. Really good range. Yeah, and it goes forward. Yeah, he can also hit confirm that. He can stay I did that move into the arrow, and then I canceled the arrow. And I think these two moves really are like his core two mid-range moves, and they complement each other. So mm -hmm. one forces you to stand block, but Officially it's a little bit on the slow side. Well, thank right. you, Demi. The other Demi. one is super, super quick, and that'll, that's excellent for like punishing whiffs, like after you hit a low post. It's just a good, go quick, mid. advancing attack. Yeah, right? it's, See, it's that move right there is why I thought really he was a rushdown character. Hit. Then he has another really good mid, which is his back one. He goes into this toe stomp, and then That's his shoulder. Low. And this, you can see there's a ton of like natural delay for the shoulder, and it's awesome for staggering. You do the first two hits, mm -hmm. and then you can go for throws, or jump overs, or low pokes, or let it go, and you do the shoulder. Gotcha. Right. And then lastly, I really like this string because it reminds me of UMK3. He has this uh -huh. kick to the chest, right. ending in this chop, which is total UMK3. Yeah, the chop is. And I think this string is awesome for staggers. Mm -hmm. And this actually has a crushing blow. And the requirement is if the last hit of course. is the only one to connect. Mm -hmm. Last hit, so it's always one of those. It, don't do the third hit, you start doing throws. Right. And then when the opponent actually lets go of block, because they think you're going to throw, that's when you get the crushing blow. Cool. And, and that have, leads to a pop-up. Does he have his little classic low starter like from MK3? He does, yeah. and like MK9, it it's not a low. That's awesome. <laughs> Part of the second yeah. hit is. The second hit is, yes, but yeah. the first hit's a mid. Right. Really? We'll that first hit looks like a low. Move. What a yeah. what a tricky yeah, move right there. It. Well, it changes later. Oh, get out. Yeah. So let's show his throws, which I think are pretty cool. And he's one of the rare characters that has a crushing blow on both throws, which is always awesome. really, really strong. Uh, Love, love both of his throws. I especially love, I mean, the one with the light coming down is amazing. But the, the power that the gun club there has. Yeah, I'm curious about Sindel too, but Nightwolf's really uh, gameplay is pretty really solid. Cool. And that may have a pretty cool brutality. There's very, is there, I can have, definitely see that being a brutality <laughs> with a the chance. grab. After the hood, I'm always going to say man. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Um, so let's go over special moves. Sure. His base loadout is pretty much exactly what you'd expect. It's classic UMK3. Nightwolf with a couple of twists. So, first the shoulder bar. Oh, obviously. Back, long range, great with. And then monitor, you can amplify it. Great check. Also. However, new to this, it's a mid, oh. which is a really big buff for this move. You used to be able to just crouch. So, like Katana versus Nightwolf in like MK9, I would just crouch, and if he did shoulder, he was going to lose 50% of his right. life. Right. Right. It was, it was a high. Yeah. So in, in this game, it would be even worse because you just crouch and then uppercut for a crush and block. Exactly. Right. So now you have to actually crouch block, which is going to set up all of his normal but attacks. But yeah, gets a crush right where he wants to be. off of this as well. Well, he has a new Amplify thing where he chops you, and if only the Amplify hits, he gets the crush Ooh, block. Ooh, I did not yep. know that. And I love how the axe just stays on yeah, Kano's head for like a minute. Yeah, really gross. got to think about it. <laughs> So then he has his arrow back, which is a pretty standard good I like his arrow a lot because you can quick, cancel but it. there's a lot of stuff you can do stuff. with it. And I think this, again, plays into him kind of reacting to what you want to do or forcing you to move. He can amplify it, and he really quickly shoots three. And this is really good for catching people that, like, they, like, duck the first arrow and they try to advance in. It's like, no, I don't think so. It's nah. high mid high. Right. And then he can also actually cancel it. So he can hold it, look for movement, 
If they're not gonna move, you can cancel it. So sick. My favorite thing to do is to hold it and then burn it. Yeah, that's right. super So fun. that's like, there's just like a lot of levels and stuff you can and do. And if you cancel it, it also takes a bar, right? Yes. 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 One thing I'd like to say that I love that you did here. I wish he still was, grunted uh, when he does the shoulder. The more you gave early. He doesn't do that? Oh, he doesn't. You just hear the whoom. I actually always try. A lot of people get mad if I use Scorpion or Sub Zero. Yes, they do. Especially Sub Zero. The Sub Zero community, I agree with you guys. He always gets beat up. So I try to base it on lore. There you go. Or at least use like Johnny Cage or something because everybody hates Cage. Whoa, what? what? Not cool. cool. Whoa. Not cool. Not everyone anyway, hates Johnny Cage, um, all right? Calm lastly, down, Stephanie. You can hold Let it. me see. Where are my Johnny Cage fans in the chat at? Tell me I'm not alone on this, right? There, there's some of you guys out there. Woohoo! The reflex. Now, good to know, it reflects one projectile. Yes. If you throw multiple projectiles, it won't reflect the same. Oh, that's a... So you have to be careful. So mm -hmm. the opponent can amplify if they have a double. Like Nightwolf's own arrow, he could amplify to hit Nightwolf. Right. And, and he Nightwolf then, in return, would get hit by one other one. Yes. But could reflect that one back if he wanted to. A fun anecdote that happened between you and me. All right, all right, cool, cool. I, I see some Cage fam in, in the chat. That's what I'm talking and about. I Stephanie out of her mind right here. Right. My own People love Johnny. Then buffed me. He's and an American he hero. In the balance patch, the buff was better. Oh, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Spoiler alert. Whoa, 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 what I hear? What I hear? I missed something. So, let's go into loadout one. And the first two loadouts we're going to show are his tournament variations. Wait. Everyone's always like, oh my god, show the tournament variation. So we aim to please. Mm -hmm. My wish is your command. And uh, so this is... <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't say that. <laughs> okay. So uh, this is the one I actually personally use. I prefer the other. Yes. So the first one I would think I would say is a combo-based one. Mm -hmm. So he gains the hatchet uppercut. It's a good answer. I love that move. move. It's a combo ender. Oh, you do that in the corner, yes. it's deadly. That's a very good point. You can kind of use it in the mid range if you want, because right. that is a lot of space. And if you amplify it, that's where it really gets juicy. It's a big combo start. I didn't know so you could like, amplify that move. I would just do it normally. That's going to be like his chief combo. Oh start. my god. The thing I really like, it's super fun to use. I was literally doing it right before we went on the air. Yeah. He can double it, and the pop up's still really good. Oh awesome. my. Oh. oh. Oh my goodness! Ah! 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 Oh! Oh! Yeah, oh go. my so God! Three forty-five. Like that is sick. Like all the way to the corner. That so is that's sick. Do really good damage. You are using two bars, so you're not going to be able to do it. Literally, do it every time you get a pop-up, but it's pretty good. Mm -hmm. Secondly, he has Kiba, which is a spirit wolf. This buffs his damage. Nice. And. It's a reference to Defenders of the Realm, which I'm... Yo, if he does that, Nightwolf, if he that does that move and do that combo that's again, so oh, dude, Nightwolf is going to do so much damage. <laughs> but anyway, um, so this has a neat thing where if he amplifies it, I mistime it, and he actually gains armor. Huh. So that's actually a safer way to uh, mm -hmm. set it up. So a lot of times, like with Shao Kahn, it's very hard to get the buffs active, although not anymore. Um, Wait, spoilers! You run out of balance ideas. By spoilers! <laughs> so um, anyway, the opponent's going to have to guess whether you're going to amplify it or not. You can actually absorb the projectile, and then you're going to get a nice juicy damage buff. That's awesome. And a cool wolf comes down house. Yeah. That's sick. Him just standing there is like So I think um, that's variation one. It's pretty much you get really good combos, and you get a damage buff to complement your really good combos. I hope that the uh, community howls anytime the, the wolf comes up. It happened at Evo. Oh, when, yeah? When the, yep. Uh, yep. At Evo, was I was there. Uh, Every time so the night wolf trailer uh, came up, we're like, yeah. throw. So, 20 more damage yeah. on a throw. Wow. Uh, pretty beefy. Also, if someone doesn't get top eight and then actually act out his howling wind pose, mm -hmm. I will consider that a personal insult and uh, be very, very disappointed. It's an, it's an insult to the entire combat cast. Crew. Yeah. It's an insult to the studio, the cinematics team, the audio mm -hmm. team, the, the, the spirit. Yeah, everything. 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 Yeah. Like, why are you playing? Yep. Good Next. question. Next. Moving on. I don't even want to so think So before about you move it. on, right. let's also look at his fatal blow. Because I think the into attack is super cool. Yeah. I, when I was playing like Nightwolf at the at, in, at uh, Las Vegas, I couldn't land the fatal blow because I thought it was a full screen, and I didn't get a chance to do it. But um, cool. All I mean, right. it's cool. So loadout two, and this is the one All you right. really like, yes. and this is the one like Alter David, and I think a lot of people are gonna like a lot of if you like grappling. Mm -hmm. Okay, I don't think this is the revenant yet. The revenant they're gonna save for last. Lots of people. Really? Us. Well, 
Mm. They're teasing yeah, us. My favorite style. Okay. Oh, so, never first mind. Of all, just revenant skin. Yeah, it's awesome. I, the war paint's really cool, and his glowing eyes just look creepy. Dude. So the first thing he Dude. has in this one is he gains two additional combo enders, and they are throws. He gives this awesome tackle. Oh snap! And this actually adds a crushing blow, and it's a punish. So if you have this loadout, he I love how like they just like blocks, hover. Like They're kind of like floating. We talk about like, this a lot. There's certain characters that if you don't get that crushing blow during the game, you probably lost a match. Yeah. You're getting this one every every game. Yeah. I mean, it's a punish. Yeah. There's no reason not to. And then he gets this, which is one of the coolest things I've ever Ooh. seen in my life. Oh. The oh. 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 The oh my. rollout's so good. Yeah, I like how the rollout's timed with the knife dissipating. Yeah. I, I actually do this early a lot. I'll do this out of range. Uh, here's, here's the low one, mm -hmm. and it works really well. And this is the crushing uh, uh, ha, ha, ha. yes. Great choice of axe, by the way. Oh, yeah. This, his, could, this could be some of your finest work for His costumes. axes and gun stock clubs were really cool. Yeah. So then he gains... Yeah, I, I definitely love his Revenant better than his uh, default. And he can actually reflex something and then teleport too. So it's like not only are you counter zoning, you're literally like getting in. Dang, that's actually pretty so good. Like, even better than counter. like that's true counter zoning. That does count. That cost a bar. Yes, you can't just do it willy nilly. Okay, so it's not too broken. That complements the grappling, which we're about to show. And it's so crazy to be, like we said earlier. Oh, there you go. Sorry. Was that his uh, command like grab or what? You hold down the reflect too and yes. change the timings up and things. Exactly. Really cool. Yeah, you can hold it for quite a while and then teleport. Mm -hmm. So he gains a true command grab. Nice. It has an amplify, which looks really nasty and actually gives him hella uh, hit advantage. You can see Ooh. Nightwolf is just walking along. Oh, wow. He can actually jump I over. I thought that was going to be a pop up. But I mean, that's he cool gets too. A lot of time off that. And he has some pretty good tick throws. So. That's not blocking. Okay. So, Dang. all three of his low pokes actually tick, which is pretty rare. Okay, Night Wolf. And I think a really interesting one is four, two, one plus two actually ticks, but it's the first hit of the two. Like the right. last part is two hits. You can actually tick off that. No confirm, you have to dial it out. Right, yeah, so I am dialing out. You have to take a chance. Yo, Nightwolf looking looking strong. Looking real strong yeah. right now. So yeah, you are sacrificing your combos because you don't have the up axe, but you get command grabs. So I it's think a good trade off. Yeah, it's I think it's totally gonna depend on your playstyle. Mm -hmm. I personally I just stick at mid-range, spam forward one, hit confirming the combos. That's how I want to play them. If you are someone who's oh, that revenant skin so throws, sick. All that kind of good stuff, I think you'll like it. I've had a I've been playing a lot. Uh, with Dan in cinematics, and I've been having a great time uh, playing that wolf. Mm -hmm. He's super fun. He's another one where I have to be honest. I I'm not like this huge night wolf stand. Like he's mm. never, you know, I'm not like in UMK3. He's my main. Right. But he is. I play him for work, and I've had a ton of fun. He's very simple to pick up. I think he's very very straightforward. Like there's there's not a lot of stances or complex stuff here. He's he's pretty simple, and that's always what I enjoyed out of character. Sure. So let's go one more loadout that I made for fun. Yep. Okay, let's and check this out costume, this loadout. This is this is mine. We, I love it. We called it Night Cub, which you'll, you'll see why in a moment. Because oh, because Night yeah, Wolf yeah. Cub is baby. Oh, I'm super snap. into the wolf on his head, and I just love the jeans and jacket. That's mm -hmm. so cool. This so, is weird about seeing like people in a fighting game like wearing jeans. Right. Like, yeah. I just think it's cool, right? So first, he has Spirit Tracks, which is actually replaces the shoulder. Ooh. And it is a low roll. I believe that does a pop up if you uh, amplify it. Awesome because again, it's an I just could never land the combo when I did it though. So you're going under goes projectiles. Under projectiles. Yep. So you can read a projectile nice. and then you can Ooh. amplify it. Yeah, um, see, it's it's kind of tricky. You gotta learn the timing. I'm I'm still learning the timing on that. And the so. amplification is actually. And I only have 30 minutes to play. That so I'm using two slots. Normally he will not get the pop up on that, but I used it to get the pop up. Gotcha. And then the second move I gave him is Hannah's Wrath, where he summons this spirit eagle. The and spirit this is a eagle. And it has very interesting properties. When it connects, it actually forces the opponent. They cannot do amplified moves while they have that aura on them. 
Kano cannot do amplified ball. Really? Not any of his amplifications are disabled, and it huh. lasts a, a pretty decent length of time. And while we're not showing it, you're going to have to wait. Uh, the bear is another buff move, and his name is Como, if people want to know. Of Thank course people want to know. Yeah, yeah so Hana, Como, and Kiba. Mm -hmm. Cool. And uh, his second fatality is Comatose. I'm super into that. That's good stuff. Which I believe we revealed for be uh, uh, the show that ended that. Yep. Yeah. In Chile. Awesome. That uh, right there is Night Wolf. Yeah, I think he's a, a pretty, pretty, pretty solid cool character. I think um, if you really liked him in Nine and UMK3, and you just kind of want to play that honest mid range game, I think you'll be pretty happy. Mm -hmm. He, he uh, kind of definitely like. I, of course, I always love when there's a command grab character that comes out and fit it fit what I wanted to do. Mm -hmm. Really enjoyed Night Wolf, and like you said. Um, like a lot of our characters, like his barrier to entry is not huge. Yeah, I think the barrier to entry is very, very low. He doesn't. He's not going to take a lot of mechanical skill. The skill is going to come in making the right reads, right? Predicting when they're going to do a projectile, predicting when they're going to whiff a low poke because they're scared of your forward two, or or he's knowing very, when you get in with him, and then once yeah. you're in, exactly. He's very good at being that person who has to make. If he makes those reads, you're in mm -hmm. very good shape. Not, yep. you know, a lot of characters are. But he has a lot of tools that are like. Physical. Right. 